Gemini and happy birthday. Welcome to your summer reading for 2021. Today we are looking at tarot cards and oracle cards. We will also check love separately. And I will take a look at the blessings as always in the special channeled messages. So don't forget to apply for a free giveaway if you want to win a free reading. Uh, on June 6, I'm having one free reading giveaway and then in September I'm having another free reading giveaway. So apply for the June one just by commenting that you want to participate in a giveaway or if you want to participate in the September one because you might be watching this after June 6, just write me September giveaway or that you want to participate in September giveaway, okay? So that I know. Or I will know, you know. I can also automatically put you in if it's after June. So, what do the tarot cards say? I'm excited because they're really good cards. First of all, this is my the deck that I got just recently and I did a review. You could see it on my channel. I did a review of the cards and they are like very artsy and mystical and dreamy. It's shadowscapes. Okay, and you have four of pentacles. Four of pentacles with seven of cups and page of wands and the world. And it's telling me a beautiful story about you for the summer. First of all, I don't know in the past, have you been scattered or not? Maybe you were spreading yourself thin. You were giving away yourself too much, you know, too many friends, too many people around you, too many things to do. Uh, too much, uh, too many wishes and stuff that you want. Maybe you've been spending a lot, but in the summer you are getting this sort of balance of your energy and you are starting to understand that you cannot do this anymore and that you have to keep your energy to yourself because what is important to invest, you will invest your time in, okay, and your energy to the things that are important. You have so many options, you have so many things that you could do, so many people that are uh, that want to be with you or collaborate with you or just be around you, okay? It's like you are radiating this beautiful energy that everyone wants to be a part of. Everyone wants to take a piece of it. And you know it. You are attracting people into your life. You are attracting any sort of thing into your life. And you're just being powerful and summery and divine in a way like, like people are starting to feel this around you and what happens is you understand that you have to keep a lot of your energy to yourself and you have to be careful who you interact with and at the same time where do you put your energy what do you do yeah you realize what is important because there is something there is something that you want that has been Maybe you've been ignoring it for a while. You didn't want to go there because you knew it's like too much and you're going to have to put too much of your energy into that thing and you never had really time for it. But this time you're really taking yourself where you need to be. Yeah, building castles in the sky, but not only in the sky, you actually want to do it. You actually want to build and fulfill your wish and complete your uh, your projects that you've been wanting to do for so long. You're finally making a decision that yes, I have all these things I could do and it would be smart to do this, it would be smart to do that, this wouldn't be so smart, but no, I want that. I want that if it's smart, if it's not smart, if it's dream, it's my dream. I want to make it through. I want to go for it. And this is where I'm going to put my coins to and nothing else and no one else. Okay, so this is great, crazy energy. Because with the world here, you get... Oh, 
how can I say it? With the world here, you just get what you want to get. And you complete what you want to complete. And you do what you want to do. But at the same time, it's not about planning the futures. It's not about something that cannot be achieved now. It's like you are in the moment. You are enjoying the moment. You are enjoying the summer and you're radiating. Maybe even in a sense, like, you just want to show off uh, the glow up that you had recently and you're just uh, dressing up the way you want to dress <laughs> or going to the places where you want to go that you always wanted to go. And this is where I want to go. And this is what I want to buy. And this is what I want to do with my life. Okay. You choose the particular thing that is precious to you. And this is why you get this completion. Completion in physical sense, completion in uh, time sense, maybe achievements, but also completion inside you, you feel fulfilled. And that is a beautiful feeling to have. Is it focused? Yes. So let's take a look at the oracles. I have to shuffle them and I will come right back. First other oracle card that you've got is Fire Prince. And this is like, oh my God, everything I've been saying so far. Like you're going to have this energy, this optimism and energy to just do what you want to do and reach what you want to reach. Uh, reach for your goals, yeah? Do and make them come true and nothing can stop you. It's like you are in unstoppable at this time and this is really good and really great energy to have in the summer the fire energy because this is a prince and it's kind of like a page yeah page and ones are fire so it's like double of this energy double of optimism of reaching your goals so whatever you are hoping for you can just know that it's gonna happen okay keep going you know you are Okay, you know you have everything you want to have or you need to have to reach success. Okay, you are now complete and you are ready to do whatever you want to do. Then the next, I took some cards to look for your love relationships. What's going to happen with your love relationships? <laughs> so it's, you will want to feel and these cards go well together. You will want to feel at home. You will want to feel safe. And it's going to be very important to feel safe, to be at peace and to feel at home with the person that you are with. Because if you don't feel that with the person, then they have to go. Okay? It's just something. Feeling home with the person. Or it is there or it is not there. There is no awkwardness and... They accept you as you are and you accept them as they are. There is no one trying to change anyone, no one trying to push anyone, you know. It's just where you are, it's the best place. It's home. So this is what you want to look out for when it comes to relationships. In general, not only in summer, in general relationships, okay. Let's go a little bit into the cards. So then we had like two best cards that you can get, like soulmates when it comes to love. Oh my God. So this is like a very fulfilling relationship. This is the relationship, the kind of relationship that you want to have. And this can, it, it, we said we are asking for love, right? For the love, the romantics. So this is like the best kind of romantic relationship. I cannot promise you that you're going to have someone who is going to be with you forever. Because if the home element is not there, then it's probably not going to last. But this is going to be a relationship that is going to shape you or just make you different than you were before. Okay, it's your soulmate. It's meant to happen. And 
it's important relationship in your life. Okay, I'm not going to say perfect because this card is not as perfect as it should be. But let's see what happens, okay? Just look, be careful of what I told you about feeling at home with the person. If it's there, if that feeling is there, then you can hope for long term. But if not, then okay. Then just enjoy what is at the moment, okay? It's not going to be bad. And then we have pleasant letters. So you're going to get some message. Someone's going to contact you. Someone with the very pleasant words. And you, I don't know, or you're going to get invited to a date. Or you're going to get invited somewhere. Or they're just going to spill their heart in, on the paper for you. Like beautiful news is coming towards you. And yeah, this is this is nice nice stuff when it comes to love and then what i have is some advice for you for the summer oh, <laughs> a lot of advice a lot of me preaching to you so clear out the clutter so this is like what i've been telling you're not gonna be giving your energy everywhere you're not gonna be scattered that's why some stuff are gonna have to go away out of your life concentrate on your goals uh, on your on the results that you want to achieve yeah make steps towards your goals because you have the power and the drive to do it there's going to be a fulfillment yes follow your dreams all the castles in the sky that once seemed so so um unreachable you need to go for those in this summer okay there is a retreat it's possible that you might take a break take a retreat go somewhere on vacation just to think yeah like that dragon is keeping to themselves you're gonna just step away from the things that are taking too much from you in order to fill yourself up and just to enjoy yourself and preserve yourself yeah, and you're gonna use wisdom. So when you use wisdom is when you let go of everything. You go with the flow, you know what yes and you know what is no, and you don't run and chase after things that are not meant for you. Okay, you're gonna have to use your wisdom and you're gonna have to get uh, let go of the control, the need of control, and just trust the divine plan. Okay, because everything happens beautifully when you let it happen that way. Now let's look at the blessings in summer for you. Gemini, wow, something is already jumping out. Okay, go if you want to go out. Nice things are happening here. Okay, okay, wow, you're going to have so many things happening for you this summer. Oof. Let's go with the first two that fell out. Inspiration and vision. So you're going to get some some sort of idea yeah, where to go. Then there's going to be insights. So you're going to learn something too. You're not just going to be wandering around. Nature. Okay. Maybe when you look at the nature, you know how they used to um they made airplane while they were looking at the nature and wings of a bird and how the birds fly <laughs> yeah this is how they understood what they have to do so you're gonna be getting some money and the things that you're gonna learn is gonna bring you money okay you're going to be spending time with your family and dream home. Interesting that family and dream home fell out together. Yeah, spending time with your family and just making your home the place that you want to live in, the place where you want to enjoy. And then idea fell out, luck fell out and passion fell out. And yes, we were talking about all of this already so you're gonna be very lucky this summer and this idea is gonna maybe some new idea coming into your life that is just gonna ignite you and you're just gonna know what to do and 
you will be unstoppable after this. Now we take a look at... I don't want to shuffle them too much. Oh, three want to come. Yeah. I'm not going to be looking for that one because <laughs> I have to move everything if I want to look at it. But maybe later in the comments I will put the what I was writing in the other box that fell out. Complaining doesn't change anything action does. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what you need to do. It's all about action, action, taking action for you. Like wherever we look, it's about passion, action, fulfilling your dreams, inspirations, doing it. Not sitting there, but doing it actually. Abundance is infinite. Because abundance is infinite, it means that there is also infinite abundance there for you that you just need to reach out for, okay? That's great, Gemini. So this is it for the summer readings. Check out your North Nodes if you haven't yet, and I'm gonna be keep uploading them as much as I can, as fast as I can. And thank you for being here. Have a beautiful summer. See you. Thank you. And bye-bye. Push me likes and subscribe. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye.